My name is Kirill, I'm senior backend engineer and in my videos every day or at least every week I talk about what have I learned this week or day or whatever. And uh, I had a very intensive week. In few days I go for vacation and also we had a big release at work, so I was quite packed. By the way, I'm back and I'm ready to tell you about what I was focused on during the past couple of days. And I was dockerizing our application in order to put it to Amazon ACS. I learned quite a lot these days, because previously I had experience working with Docker and with Kubernetes, but it was under the eye of smart operations guy. I mean, kind of DevOps person, but he wasn't DevOps, he was just operations, but still very smart guy. So despite that the overall idea is quite easy to grasp, the implementation took me some time. And today I want to give you an introduction to AWS services such as ECS, ECR, EKS, Fargate, and uh, the one I found just today, which is not AWS service, but really related to this topic, is COPS, K-O-P-S. Too many abbreviations, huh? Let me first describe what the problem people are trying to solve using these technologies. You most likely know what containers are and when you have your application containerized at some point of time you most likely would like to have it running not on single node but on some kind of cluster and you would like to somehow manage this cluster like if you, if one of your containers is dead or stop responding you won't ruthlessly forget it and spin up a new one and most likely you would like to do this without manual management, otherwise it would be a nightmare. But please keep in mind that we are not talking about load balancing. This is a completely different service, like EBS or ABS. We won't cover this topic today at all. But these services, they work with ECS or, for instance, EKS. Obviously, they can work without them. Okay, now it seems we are kind of close to the discussion about ECS and EKS. And because I'm mentioning them together, most likely they are somehow related to each other or similar. And they kind of are. They both are cluster management tools. Just first of them, ECS, which stands for Elastic Container Service, manages your containers directly. And on the other hand, EKS works with Kubernetes to manage your containers. To be honest, I'm not too deep in this topic to tell you why EKS, Kubernetes, can be better than ECS. However, as far as I know, Elastic Container Service ECS is absolutely sufficient in most cases. Also, it is quite easier to start working with and, and just working with. Uh, however, I would suspect that EKS can be cheaper, can be cheaper solution, or it is, uh, or it allows you to configure your cluster more thoroughly. However, CS also kind of allows you to do that. It's not too high level tool. Kubernetes itself has nothing related to, e to AWS. This is completely standalone tool. And EKS just helps you to manage your Kubernetes cluster using AWS. It's running on AWS. But it is a very new feature and it's not available, for example, in our region so far. And as I understand, AWS by themselves they are trying to sell you ECS because they even say that EKS is mostly suitable for those who are already using Kubernetes cluster. And the way how it works usually nowadays is COPS, K-O-P-S. I'm, I'm showing this signs which is not K-O-P-S, it's just something. K-O-P-S. Most likely it will appear somewhere here or there. I'm actually going to try to use a new video editing tool. Okay. okay, back to COPS. Too many abbreviations, I suppose, but this one is not a, an abbreviation, but no, most likely it is. Like Kubernetes operations. Yeah, I just realized that. Okay, it is a standard de facto of running your Kubernetes cluster on AWS services nowadays. And I was shocked to find that they actually use S3 under the hood. Probably that's okay, because a lot of people are really using it. And I know some companies who, has, who have this architecture, 
tool running in production. Okay, it's time to move on. I have two more things to describe. So the next one is ECR, which stands for Elastic Container Registry. And the idea should be pretty easy to grok. So you have your CI tool, which is building the image of your application, your build. Then you put this build into something, and this something is ECR, some registry, some repository. And then you just give your new image tag to your container management service, ECS or Kubernetes. So far so good, I suppose. And the last thing is AWS Fargate. It is one of the newest AWS tools, and it's now available only in some regions in the United States. It is even more high-level tool than ECS which hides a lot of management complexities from DevOps, of the developer currently doing operations. You just specify CPU, memory requirements, and some IAM policies, and that's it. You can run your, you can start your cluster right ahead. Unfortunately, as I said, this tool is not available, for example, for us yet, so I don't have really hands-on experience, but at first glance, at least from AWS keynotes, it looks really fascinating. Especially for those fast-growing startups which follow DevOps philosophy and don't have a dedicated operations team. Okay, it's time to finish for today. And I hope this video helped you at least a little bit to start navigating in this probably absolutely new for you area. I know by myself that the most difficult part in learning something absolutely new is to grasp the general concepts, general ideas, general tool set of absolutely new domain area. If you want to dive deep, I can really refer you to AWS documentations. Those guys are doing a great job and uh, every time I have some questions, I can go there and check it out and most likely I will get some answers. It was a great pleasure talking to you and I will see you most likely not tomorrow because sometimes I'm promising you that you will hear me tomorrow but no, I'm not filming as frequent as I would like to, but definitely, I will see you, you will see me <laughs> very soon. Have a beautiful week! Bye.